Welcome back to the uh, Grizzly Bear Aviation Channel, um, everybody. Uh, instrument flying has not been uh, very easy for me uh, while preparing for my uh, uh, commercial uh, license. Uh, I'm still not licensed, working towards it uh, for my commercial. Uh, in this video, you could see my instructor giving me the command uh, to do a right uh, to do a right hand uh, turn under. Uh, uh, the hood, uh, it's not uh, quite instrument conditions, but it's, uh, you know, uh, instrument training in uh, VMC. I'm under the hood here. The target altitude is uh, 3,500 feet. Um, you know, I wasn't really the best in terms of uh, holding that altitude throughout the turn, but uh, within um, the uh, the limits uh, required for the uh, flight test, it, it was. And, uh, you know, I'm doing a, a right hand 360 degree, which is not really asked in the commercial flight test to do something more than uh, 180 degree a time turn under the hood but this was initial practice hope you guys uh, like the clip uh, we're gonna also show some other exercises we did such as upset recovery so stay tuned A 500 feet per minute descent uh, from uh, was supposed to be 3,500 feet uh, to uh, 3,000. Uh, this is uh, Cessna 172 carbureted engine model N. So I like to bring my carbide out um, before I begin my descent. Uh. Once established level, I would also lean out the mixture since I'm about uh, 3,000 feet and uh, yeah, be back on uh, cruise there. The instructor now takes control and uh, um, tries to disorient me for the next uh, two to three minutes. Uh, I'm just putting my head down, not looking at the instruments or, uh, you know, having any uh, visual uh, reference uh, outside of the airplane. Uh, so, you know, he's uh, turning the yoke left and right and uh, periodically asks me as to uh, what I uh, feel and I do give him some cues and uh, uh, during the debrief we figured that uh, that uh, none of uh, what I actually felt uh, was what uh, we were doing with the airplane. To me, it felt like we were doing an accelerated uh, uh, you know, descending turn, um, you know, to one side and then to the other and so on. Although, as you could see from this footage, uh, we were going in a climb um, to like, you know, climbing turn and so on. But that's not what I felt. The instructor ended up asking me uh, as to what I was feeling. And clearly uh, what I felt was in what uh, he was doing with the airplane.
So after putting that plane in uh, something like a climbing turn and, uh, and now it's kind of in a dive, uh, the instructor asks me to recover from the upset. So I'm able to uh, put my eyes on the uh, uh, the control the instrument panel and figure out what's happening once i recover which was pretty quick the instructor takes control again and puts me in another uh, situation uh, once my airspeed is kind of decreasing there uh, he takes control i put my head down and uh, he uh, does another upset with the plane and then asks me to recover right here immediately see from the airspeed indicator that i'm in a low airspeed scenario and from the turn corner the co turn coordinator that i was uh, turned to the left i um, you know increased that throttle and uh, put that nose down uh, almost simultaneously and uh, get us uh, back to a safe uh, maneuvering situation